Okay, so here's one of our favorite experiments. It's called the Goldberg Variation. You can play along. If you're right-handed, take off your right shoe and place it on your head. If you're left-handed, do the same thing with your left shoe. Go ahead, we'll wait. Okay, now we have to ask. Why did you put your shoe on your head? Just because your TV told you to? We're instinctive copycats, and for a really good reason, survival. Now, let's see exactly how this copycat thing works on you. Are you yawning? Did you just smile? So what's going on in that head of yours? Deep in the brain's premotor cortex, we've got special cells known as mirror neurons. Why mirror? Because every time we see someone act, these neurons fire. Mentally mimicking the same movements. Now here's the really freaky part. It doesn't just copy the moves. It takes on the emotion, too. Feeling thirsty? You can count on it. So do advertisers who make millions each year by stimulating your mirror neuron. It's clear that our ability to empathize, to feel what others are feeling, is wired into us at the cellular level. We're going to push your mirror neurons right to the edge with master magician Matthew Holtzclaw. Today we're going to walk around the park and introduce ourselves to people and then uh, do some magic tricks, but also do a few things that might challenge their senses, their perceptions, possibly even their nerve endings. This couple just thinks they're watching regular card tricks, but Matt has something more devious in mind. I want to show you something. You, you get to, to limber yourself up. You can do these things where if you have like a that kind of more flexible finger than others, you can bend it further back. Okay, see that? Mm -hmm. Hurt like hell, but not. God. <laughs> That hurt, right? That was crazy. How'd that feel to watch that? How's it, how's it good? I like that. <laughs> feel that? Those are your mirror neurons at work. Through mirror neurons, we are able to uh, give the audience the sense of feeling what we're feeling. It is based entirely on empathy. Think about when you watch a horror movie. What are you feeling? Those are your mirror neurons on hyperdrive. Studies show they're why viewers connect so strongly with on-screen emotions. Well, now Matt's going to amp things up with something horrific of his own. That's a pain to If you have a, a nice sharp tool, again, it's easier. It's not so much of a magic trick as it is kind of just about pain. Just stay with me. <laughs> That looks all right from there, right? It looks way better in this way. Oh, yeah. It's kind of nasty. You can see it's kind of stuck in there pretty deep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to assume it. I mean, you can see from that side. You can see where it's going in there. Yeah. See that? Oh. It's pretty nasty, right? Well, here's what they do. I'm going to pull it right out. You can have a look at it. Make sure it's not like a, a rig thing. It's not like a, this is, there's no hole here or anything like that, right? There's no like, uh, there's no like, like, anything like that. <laughs> How'd that feel to watch that? Painful. Painful. The reason you're wincing, like our subject, is because your brain just experienced the pain Matthew would have felt if he wasn't a master illusionist. I just thought about it going in my arm. I was you like, thought about it going in your arm? Yeah. When I was doing it, you could feel it pushing through? Now Matt's going to really push things to the limit, using his own face. What could be scarier? Turns out that mirror neurons are most intensely activated by facial expressions. I'm going to show you one more thing. Piece of thread, yes, sir. See it. Try to see it. It's just a trick. No need to feel squeamish. 
but you can't help it. You're only human. Oh. Oh. I don't really want to have it. And we are all hardwired the same way. Even if you'd rather not be. But what happens when you don't fit into the group? Make it all go away. He's putting his hands over his face. This is not happening to me. We'll see how you feel when the group throws you out. What the f-